Hi everyone. So this video is about an another dreadful disease which is to be known as AIDS. So what actually is meant by AIDS? AIDS is acquired immune deficiency syndrome which in general we call it as AIDS. So this AIDS is also being referred to as slim disease. Why it is being named as slim disease? Because whenever an individual suffers from this disease, he tends to lose his body weight. Thereby an individual become extremely slim that is due to loss of uh, the immune system in his body. So thereby it is being named as slim disease. Now how this disease actually occurs or why it will occur. So first of all, first we should know that AIDS generally is the disease which occurs due to decrease in the number of the helper T cells. So helper T cells are those cells which are one of the very important uh, T lymphocytes which are being present, which are being differentiated. Okay, for example, in that of the T cell differentiation, the T cells gets differentiated into cytotopic, uh, sorry, cytotoxic T cells, helper T cells memory T cells and uh, suppressor T cells. Among the four different types of the T cells, helper T cells are the major ones because these helper T cells constitute around 75% of the total T cells in the immune system. So whenever the number of the helper T cells starts reducing, the immune system becomes weaker. Okay, so that is the reason that AIDS is being seen due to decrease in the number of helper T cells. Now, the AIDS was first reported in the year 1981 in the homosexuals in that of the USA, whereas in that of the year 1986, it was being reported in the females in the Tamil Nadu, India in the year 1986. Now, from what is the pathogen which causes the AIDS? The pathogen which causes the AIDS is basically the virus that is no, named as HIV, Human Immunodeficiency Virus. But this HIV name came to that in the year 1986, which was being given by the International Committee for uh, vir viral nomenclature. So they finally named in the year 1986 as HIV. Prior to that, for example, Robert Gallo in the 1970s, he discovered the virus which was being called as HTLV1, which means a human T cell lymphotrophic virus. So that was the virus which was being uh, discovered by Gallo, Robert Gallo in the year 1970s, somewhere in the 1970s. And this HTLV1 was able to cause the disease that was called as leukemia. Later, Montana, okay, in the year 1983, he was the person who discovered that AIDS was being caused by the virus that is called as HIV. But the name Okay, HIV was being termed later, but in the year 1983, he named it, okay, Montana and his colleagues named it as LAV, which means lymphoadenopathy virus, okay, lymphoadenopathy virus was the name given by Montana, okay, Montana in the year 1983 discovered the virus which was called as LAV, which was known to cause the disease that was AIDS. Okay. Later in the year 1986 was the name given that as HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. But prior to HIV, it was also called as HCLV, human cell leukemia virus, as it was being known to cause the leukemia also the name was being given as HCLV. So here, what we mean to say is, in the 1970s, the name of this HIV was being called as HTLV, later it became LAV, later HCLV and later, and finally it became 
एच आई वी सो एच आई वी इज बेसिकली अ वायरस यू कैन सी द डायग्राम आई हैव ड्रॉन हियर सो एच आई वी इज बेसिकली अ वायरस विच बिलोंग्स टू द ग्रुप दैट इज कॉल्ड एज रेट्रो वायरसेस वे आर दीज रेट्रो वायरसेस हैव एन एनवलप ऑफ द आर एन ए जीनोम एंड ऑल्सो दीज रेट्रो वायरसेस वट एक्चुअली इज मेंट बाय रेट्रो वायरस इज दीज आर द स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ द वायरसेस वेर दे हैव द एबिलिटी टू कन्वर्ट ओके दे आर जीनोम दैट इज आर एन ए इन टू दैट ऑफ द डी एन ए दैट इज बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द एनजाइम कॉल्ड एज रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेस सो दिस एनजाइम रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेस इज इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रोसेस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्शन generally you might have come across with that of the word transcription and translation which are the steps involved in the protein synthesis that is transcription and translation but in this hiv what happens is reverse transcriptase so generally uh, the dna is converted rna rna to that of the proteins but here the rna is the genetic material of this particular virus which will be transformed into the dna okay that is by the help of the enzyme called as reverse transcriptase involved in the process of reverse transcription that is the reason these viruses are called as retro viruses and very important here that in india okay are we have an aids control organization that is what we have is called as naco national aids control organization so that is a particular organization which uh, helps in uh, uh, giving information to the various of the people or educating or bringing about uh, the awareness about the aids okay that is how we can prevent uh, from getting infected with that of the aids all that awareness is being brought about by the naco and uh, one should know that december 1st is being considered as uh, the world's aids day okay december 1 world world's aids day is being uh, dedicated or it is being given right now in that of the montaner who discovered this aids virus in the year 1983 uh, in the year 2008 for that discovery for this discovery of the aids is being caused by hiv so he was being awarded a nobel prize right so that was the prize which was being given to montaner in the year 2008 okay where he says that aids is the disease which is being caused by hiv right so let us see the next part is regarding the structure of the virus that is hiv how actually the hiv looks like so hiv looks like this is the structure so here what we are able to see is the hiv has the genetic material that is rna and along with the rna okay two single strands of rna are being seen along with that there is presence of the enzyme that is called as reverse transcriptase as i said that generally in the protein synthesis what happens is dna information is being carried to that of rna and rna is involved in the protein synthesis this is a normal protein synthesis mechanism but in this reverse transcriptase what it does it converts this rna which is the genetic material so this rna is being converted into dna and this dna will be useful in the synthesis of the proteins the proteins which are necessary for that of the hiv okay for the proliferation so those proteins are synthesized by the help of the enzyme called as reverse transcriptase where you can see this that is in the core in the center of that of the hiv and surrounding this genetic material you are able to find there is a presence of the glycoprotein layer so this glycoprotein layer is called as a gp gp24 that is a protein coat which is being surrounding the genetic material rna and above to that of the genetic material that is the protein coat above that we there is a presence of an another protein coat which is being gp glycoprotein 
18 and above this white you can see here glycoprotein 18 above that is the presence of the lipid bilayer membrane which is made up of the glycoprotein 120 and this lipid bilayer of the virus also consists of the spikes which are being seen and this lipid bilayer membrane as well as the spikes are being derived okay whenever this virus attacks to that of the normal uh, macrophage cells so from there they will derive this uh, membrane as well as the spikes so that is how the structure of the HIV is being present now in this HIV what is important is there are presence of three protein layers are there and inside to that is the genetic material so till today we are unable to find the drugs which are known to destroy this particular virus that is because the drugs whenever an individual the AIDS patient is being treated so drugs are una unable to destroy these protein layers or the genetic material due to which this virus this particular virus is unable to get uh, killed and thereby the disease that is called as AIDS so this is being uh, still untreated but the very recent uh, report suggests that in that of the western countries they have discovered a medicine which is quite expensive so where an AIDS patient who is being suffering can be treated with it okay so that is there that information is also being uh, seen right so this is all about the introduction as well as the structure of uh, the HIV in the next video we will discuss about uh, how the transmission of this HIV occurs from one person to the another person why the AIDS is being considered to be one of the dreadful diseases okay thank you